Sharks took over the U.S. Senate today, or at least shark experts. Senators heard about the importance of sharks to coastal economies, as well as their wide-ranging roles in medicine and engineering research. Our D.C. correspondent Drew Petromo reports. This is Shark Camp. Video from an autonomous underwater vehicle featuring the latest in tracking technology. Shark Cam is following just behind a great white shark, providing scientists key insights into the shark's environment and behavior. What engineers did not expect was Shark Cam to become shark bait. We thought that, you know, we try to do our best to make them tough, but we never designed them to be shark proof. Like, it never even occurred to us. The video was part of a more exciting than usual Senate hearing on shark research. Sharks are more than just TV and movie stars. Shark cartilage is being used to treat burn victims. Shark skin is helping engineers design airplanes. And sharks sustain local economies through commercial and recreational fishing and ecotourism. Florida Senator Bill Nelson. We're finding uh, how critical they are to the ecological balance in the oceans. But shark researchers say all the benefits depend on healthy shark populations. Sharks are being just devastated. And in fact, when you look worldwide, about one quarter of shark species are actually threatened with extinction. Up to 200 million sharks are killed every year, many just for their fins, considered a delicacy in parts of Asia. Bills working their way through Congress aim to ban or further regulate the fin trade. When Jaws came out, came out, I was in eighth grade. I, I was just completely mortified. It's related to the great white. Great white. Shark. But since then, South Dakota Senator John Thune says he's developed a healthy respect and appreciation for the ocean predators, and he says Congress must ensure laws that protect sharks have teeth. In Washington, I'm Drew Petromo.